Hello, this is Christian. In this video, we continue from the previous video. We did the delete operation here. As you can see, I can, I'm able to delete my data here using a very simple function. And so now we're going to go and refactor this uh, list here and put it into a child component. So let's go to the code. So this is what we have for our app.js. Um, as you can see, this is the root component. So it's not a good idea to put it here because it's going to get really cluttered. And we're going to move all this into a child component, all right? So let's go to the component here. And I could create a new one. We'll call it um, flightlist.js. OK, so inside this list here, I will pretty much import my uh, React.js, I mean React component. OK, and then uh, that's good enough for now. <clears throat> the name of this will be just uh, a, we can use it as a, um, I'll just use a function component for now. And, and if we need to do something else later on, we can decide to um, add it. But for now, it'll just be a function component. So you can use the regular function like this called flight list. All right. Or you can use the ES6 using the, um, Variable func let flight list equals that, and they use the error function. That's fine too, either way. Okay. Well, since I all we do here, I'll just leave it like this. And then now we need to add in here the props. We're we'll receiving that from the parent. And then here we just have a return statement. Return everything to the uh, parent or to the to the DOM really. Okay. So in here, let's go to the app.js. I'm going to remove everything from, let's see, uh, pretty much everything here from, yeah, from line 27. We'll collapse this all the way down to line 83. All right. So I can just do like, I'm not sure if this will let me do it. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay. So let me cut everything there, the whole thing, and move it to this flight list right in here. And I'll just do a um, right click to format the document save that file go back to the app.js now in here we're going to replace this with the flight list and <clears throat> I have to import it up here first so up here I'm going to import the flight list from the component components in the flight list all right and so now we're good. And then so I use the flight list here. I'm going to pass the data to this flight list. I'm going to pass through a um, property called flight data, the same name, assigned to this dot state flight data. Because I'm changing the, the state, I need to also pass in the function called delete flight. So that can be used in the child component. Do a um, I use the same function name, delete flight is equal to the this that delete flight. All right. Let me close this over here in the tab. So I pass these two properties to my flight component, and once I go to the flight list. I need to make a few adjustments in here. Now, the first thing is that no longer this is no longer a class, so I cannot use this in here. And also, the state is not um, available in here either. So I get this information, the same name I used from the props. So I can replace all of these, both of these with the word props. Okay. So anywhere else I use this, I need to re re replace it with props. Props delete flight. And I think that's all I need to do here, as you can see. Um, very, very uh, uh, short here. But I'm going to move this over to another component. OK, I'll call this. Let me just cut it out. And I'll put it down here at the bottom, since it's a child component. So I'll call it, um, uh, before I forget, let's should, we should export this out first. Export default um, flight list. 
So right above here, I have the child component. I say let um, table head, I guess, something like that. And, I, and then return, uh, no, not like this. Return uh, this. Okay, this is the table head. Right click document format. So I did not pass any data to it, so just good as is. And I go back to where I cut that out, right in here, and replace it with table head. Right? So here we go. And then this is a T body, right? So same thing. I could do this as well. So I can copy this whole T body here from here to here. Cut it out and then we'll put it down below the T head down here. So let T table body. And I'm going to need a prop because I pass, I have some return in the, um, some data in the props. So return this whole thing here and just again right click format. Okay, so now the props goes in here. But then you see that props dot delete, right? So I just pass exactly the same as I did in the parent to this child component. So here again, right here, I call it t table body. Um, I'm gonna pass in the flight data is props uh, flight data and then the um, function as well. So delete flight. And you can do it in a couple of ways. You, you don't have to do it the way I did here. Uh, you can add it to um, a single object and then pass it that way as a one single object. You know what I mean? You can recreate this whole thing, put it into an object first, and, and then you pass just one single object down here. Okay, and this is less for typing. But since I already had this set up this way, then now it's all, all set up the way it is. And if nothing is broken, then it should just working. It should just work just like we had in the original uh, version. So let's save this and um, see if this still works. All right, so let's go to the view. And if there are any errors, it will tell us. So we'll refresh that and I delete number two. As you can see, it's still working just very nicely as before. And press F12 just to make sure no errors in the console. And let me delete this here. So far so good. If you press the components tab here, you should see the different types of components we added to our flight list. So we added two uh, child components for the app, the nav and the flight list. Now the flight list has actually three right at the footer has two child components, the table head and table body. So there we go. It looks pretty nice. In the next video, we're going to, um, this is what we're going to do. I think we are pretty much done with this uh, example here. So we'll see if we can add something to this.